Welcome everyone. My name is Shubham Jain and I'm here to present my paper, a sub one volt current mode band gap voltage reference in standard 65 nanometer CMOS process. On behalf of my co-authors, Vijay Kumar Kanchitla and Professor Prajay Zin. So the overview of my presentation is as follows. I'll start with a brief introduction to reference generation circuits. Then I'll talk about the conventional current mode BGRs. And then I'll discuss the proposed BGR circuit along with its simulation and measurement results. So the supply voltage of modern SOCs has gone significantly below the band gap voltage of silicon, that is 1.25 volts. The traditional band gap voltage references are no more useful. Also in modern SOCs, the circuit blocks are placed specially apart. Because of IR voltage drop, the reference voltage cannot be transported throughout the chip and a current reference is required. The current reference is required and is used as shown here. So multiple copies of the reference current is transported to various circuit blocks and then locally voltage references and current references are generated in the circuit blocks. A current reference circuit is required that generates VBG by R current referred to as IBG in this presentation. So this reference current circuit can be implemented in two ways. Voltage mode, where voltages with opposing temperature coefficients are added, and current mode, where currents with opposing temperature coefficients are added. In current mode voltage references, fuel stack devices are used, which make them apt for low voltage operations. This is a conventional current mode BGR by Banba. In this circuit, biasing the differential pair of the amplifier is a major challenge. For an in-MOS input OTA, at high temperatures, the input common mode voltage may not be sufficient to keep the input transistors and the trail transistors in saturation because VEB decreases with temperature. For a PMOS input OTA, the low threshold PMOS devices are required for low voltage operations. Banba has used native NMOS devices which are not suitable for standard CMOS operations. In this design from MOC, a resistive divider is used to overcome the design issues discussed in the previous design. A PMOS OTA is used in the final minimum supply voltage required is relaxed by a factor of R2B by R2A plus R2B. High voltage at the OTA output is required to reduce the VDSAT voltages of the current mirror transistors M1 and M2. In this circuit by mock, BJT based DC level shifting current mirrors are used and body biasing is used to reduce the threshold voltage of uh, PMOS devices in the OTA. And using these techniques, the OTA is biased properly. In this slide, the complete schematic of the proposed BGR circuit is shown. So, the proposed BGA circuit is designed in standard 65 nanometer CMOS technology. Resistive divider is used similar to design proposed by MOC, as we discussed earlier. In this design, a source follower based buffer is used at the OTA input to address the biasing issues. The current and voltage relations can be obtained as follows. So I2 is the difference of VEB by R1, which is nothing but VT LNN by R1. And I3 can be obtained as VE by R2A plus R2B. Together, they are clubbed in R2. So the VBG can be written as I1 R3, that is R3 by R2 into R2 by R1 VTLN plus VEB. So we can see that by selecting R3 less than R2 in equation, the output voltage VBG can be set to less than one volt. Different circuit blocks of the device are discussed further. So this is the amplifier design. Biasing of the amplifier properly is crucial to maintain sufficient loop gain throughout the operation. VEB of the BJT decreases approximately two millivolt per degree Kelvin. A source follower based buffer is used before the NMOS differential pair. This buffer shifts the DC level of the input voltage by a voltage value equal to VSG to bias the input transistors of the uh, amplifier and saturation. The amplifier now can be biased with lower VEB and the limit on the VEB is given as 
this equation. The output voltage VP here can be significantly high to keep the mirror transistors with low saturation VDSAT. Resistor selection is done as follows. From simulation, the temperature coefficient of VEB is obtained. And then the voltage equation, the band gap voltage equation is differentiated with respect to temperature and is equated to zero to obtain the ratio of R2 by R1. In the design, R1 is selected first to set the current value and then R2 is calculated according to the ratio nine. The current mirrors are designed such that they, uh, they have a higher output impedance, higher channel length of transistors is used. This reduces the uh, effect of channel modulation and also the flicker noise. Cascode PMOS devices are used to improve the output impedance further. Same cascode structure is used with appropriate scaling in the amplifier to ensure matching between the nodes of the core and the amplifier. The bipolar junction transistors are selected as follows. So pitted current is a logarithmic function of N. Since it's a logarithmic function, a very, a very large value of N has very little advantage. So the ratio of BJT area N is chosen to be eight in this design. The value of N chosen to be eight facilitates common centered layout and a good matching of devices. Large BJTs are used due to their lower VEB in the set. A digital calibration resistor is used. A variable resistor RCAL is added in series with the R2B resistor. This resistor is digitally programmable from the SPI logic on chip. And this is used to compensate for post fabrication variation on chip. So post layout simulation results are shown in this slide. The variation of output voltage with respect to temperature is shown here. In TT corner, the temperature coefficient of the output voltage is found out to be 12.34 ppm per degree centigrade uh, with a ramp of uh, with VDD ramping from 0 to uh, 1.2 volt. The VBG uh, is the VBG varies as follows and the circuit starts working at VDD of 0 0.9 volts. So the minimum requirement of VDD is 0 0.9 volts for this circuit to operate. Uh, the third graph shows the startup simulations. So the startup simulation shows that the loop is stable and startup work, uh, startup circuits work properly and the BJ starts up. 1000 sample Monte Carlo simulations are done and the mean value of the output voltage is found out to be 591.69 millivolt and the standard deviation is 9.32 millivolts. The PSRR at lower frequencies of 10 hertz is 34.94 dB. And at 100 kilohertz, the PSRR is 26.36 dB. At DC level, like at DC and very low frequencies, the noise value is 4.42.63 microvolts per root hertz. The measurement results of the uh, chip is as shown. So this uh, VGR circuit is incorporated in a multiband navigation receiver that is used for uh, decoding and uh, digitizing the satellite receiver signals. The VBG signal varies as shown. So the chip is heated using a solder gun and the output voltage VBG is measured. The chip cannot be cooled because of uh, lack of equipment. So the other half of the curve could not be obtained. The minimum requirement of VDD in measured results is 1.04 volts and the output voltage is 0 0.571 volts or 571 millivolts. The microchip of the uh, circuit is as shown and various uh, circuit blocks have been highlighted. So the static current taken uh, by this uh, circuit at 1.2 volt VDD is 182.3 microamperes and the area including the calibration circuit is 0 0.2 mm square. So concluding my presentation, in this presentation, a sub one volt current mode BGR for low voltage SOC is presented. The proposed BGR uses a source follower buffer in the amplifier, which eases the biasing requirements and eliminates low threshold devices and native transistors. The BGR is fabricated in a standard 65 nanometer CMOS technology, and the chip of the, uh, the BGR uh, chip occupies an area of 0 0.2 my mm square, and operating at a minimum supply of 1.04 volts, the output voltage is 571 millivolt. 
VGR consumes a current of 182.3 microamperes in a receiver operating at 1.2 volt power supply. Thank you for your attention. Uh, these are my references. This work is supported by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, METI, India. Thank you.